Hi, welcome to the crack of dawn. It's Dawn Lombardi, and again, we have Mary Sue Cavanaugh back on for round two of uh, the neighbor next door. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was, um, this is pretty funny because I went in and we brought Mary Sue's painting back from the last time we were painting. So you can show them that if you want. Sure. And <clears throat> yeah, we haven't, we haven't added boats yet. I just shoved one in here, but we haven't added boats. So I came to work and I was like, oh, have you guys seen my painting? Because I left it there. And Brian said, oh yeah, it's in my office. And he had it hanging like this. <laughs> so he's like, oh, I thought it was an abstract. You know, and Brian's our editor. It's hilarious, right? Okay. So he had it hanging like this. So I mean, that's not good. So we're going to add some boats, okay? They're just triangles. Okay. Okay. Because yes. we went back. Uh, we had a good time. After we left the studio, we went out to a local restaurant, Piccolo Araggio, very classy For place. our little reward. It's a great place, isn't it? It go? is, yeah. It great food. Is. Yeah, over the top, a little mm -hmm. bit, you know, nice. Uh, it's like something you'd see on like, the cooking channel. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely Great Italian fancy. cooking. Yeah, it's very fancy. And then we went home and we put Mary Sue's painting up against the thing and we sat back and she was like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving away my secrets. It was like Laverne and Shirley. You Remember were giving when Laverne away my would secrets. be like, oh, Shirley, it ain't that good. Yeah, yeah. I was like, eh. So we decided to come back and we're going to add some boats and we're just going to talk a little bit more about other stuff and things. So, of course, I forgot the easel, so I'm going to kind of air it like this. And Mary Sue, since I forgot the easels, she's using a music stand that we found like over here somewhere, a uh, music stand, <laughs> which is interesting because you have a background in music. I do. Right? I do. Yeah. So I feel about. very comfortable with the music stand in front of me. Yeah. So she's got the music stand and I'm going to paint like this and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So just remember, you know, and you can start your boats if you want. You can try. Okay. So she's going to add triangles. I'm going to do them a little bit bigger too so you can see them. Okay. And the triangle, this is the horizon line. So, you know, Brian had it hanging this way because he didn't know, but it's really, this is where the sky hits the water. Okay. So when you're making the triangles, don't make gigantic triangles like the kids do. You make them very small and you make the tippity tip of the triangle going just over the horizon line. And we're gonna add a couple mountains and stuff, but it's very simple, okay? It's a step that's perfect, Mary Sue. What do you think? Yeah, now hold on. See how you can't see it up in the thing? So maybe if you flick it, see if you can see it. Flick it? We'll kind of move it. Like What's the light when he puts it? You might be able to see it. How's this? How's this? Anyway. Still, no, it's hard to see yeah, you'll right see. now. So she's adding a boat and she just put one on and it looks really good. And I'm going to do one a little larger so that you can see what she was doing. This is the 26th minute of my painting career. I mean, it's gorgeous. Wait till you see. They're going to look beautiful. So anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the triangles. Okay. okay. Just make sure the bottom of the boat goes the same as the water, which is going to be straight across. Okay. So I'm going to do another boat and I'm going to do it a little bit bigger. Okay. So I'm going to do this boat. I'm just going to make this boat a little bit bigger. OK. And then I'm going to make another boat over here. OK. okay. And I'm going to just make this them is, white. This is pretty easy, Don. It's very compared, easy. Compared to drawing lines across yeah, the Yeah, it's very easy. Yeah. And I'll come and get closer to the camera if you can't get it really close up, because it's kind of hard to see here and then you just make a little a bit of a uh, like a reflection in front of the boat so hey, it looks like not it's, bad it looks beautiful <laughs> and then just a little reflection upside down triangle basically into the water and that that's gonna make it look more real now I'm gonna start to add some mountains because she might want to do that too okay how's that so what kind of um Music other than the choir did you do? Did you play the piano when you were younger? I did play the piano. The piano Re teacher that you lived with. Uh, yes, yes. I, was, yes, I did. Ah, I played the piano for it. a long time. Oops, I actually majored in college, double majored in French and music. Really? Yeah, I did. And, and the thing is. Like is old fashioned we, classical, classical music? Classical, classical. Chopin, I actually, Mozart, did, that I kind actually of thing. did juries and all where the mu whole entire music department, the staff of I'm going to add my faculty, mountains in a bit. Um, and I hated it because I, I practiced eight hours a day and hated it and realized forget that it. I would never make money playing the piano. Yeah, so, so forget it. I, I abandoned it yeah. after my sophomore year. And then I went to France and that was, that was much more rewarding.
Yeah. So now, yeah. if you were to go back to France, which part would you go to? Well, I think my favorite is, of course, Paris. But I like all. I love mm -hmm. different parts of France. Adding a few I'd boats. actually like to take a look at. Um, Normandy. I'd love to go to Normandy because I've not been there. Would you ever go on one of those bus tour things where you go no, with like 20 people? Those. You hate, I hate those? those. You do? No, yes. You don't I need the them. tour guide? No, no, I don't need a tour guide. I'd rather We're do it on do my mountains own. mountains next. Now watch the mountains, Mary Sue. So easy. Okay. okay. We're going to start from up here. She, I kind of sketched a little bit for her, but mountains up here, but the mountain here has to be straight across because that's where my water, I mean, sorry, my horizon line where my sky hits my land. So now my sky is hitting this mountain. And I can put some palm trees on the mountain, on the, you know, mountain. You're going to fill it in with brown. Okay, so I should try that. Yep. You know, and this is an easy painting you can do. And you can get better and add more things. So now I've got a little, you know, mountainy background going on over here. Okay. It's much easier with these smaller brushes, Don. Last time so I had you, these gigantic brushes. Oh, I know. We did have big brushes. I'm going to go on the other side, too, oh, and make shoot. another mountain coming down. And then I'll get up and show you if you can't see perfectly. But, uh, you know, basically, the more water you add, <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Just fill that right in. You'll see when she's done. I mean, they're going to be gorgeous. And so, um, yeah. And... So if you went over, would you do the hotel thing, or would you do? Would you even like I'd, think you know, I'd about like an to, Airbnb? I'd like to, I, I would try the Airbnb. You really would. Yeah, because yeah. you know when I was doing a lot the of way traveling. To go now, right? Yes, when I was doing a lot of traveling, that wasn't a thing. But I'd love to do that. I'd love to use that as a you know kind of a base of operations. Yeah, everybody's and, and like Venmo and this and that and crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's no, crazy. It's, Paint the sides of your painting. Uh, I'm gonna if leave, you can, you don't I'm have leave, to. I'm going to leave that. Yeah, that's it's, like it's very clumsy, and if you've dropped it by accident, it could get on your clothes. But once you get used to doing it, you end up painting the sides so it looks, you know, like it's going off the thing. Okay, so now I have some land along with my boats. So how does this look so far? It looks gorgeous. Now her boats, you know, have a, like land behind them. Now I might even do a couple palm trees. So I'm going to grab some green out of here. Yeah. Yours is too symmetrical. Too symmetrical. What does that mean? <laughs> I should know that. Same <laughs> mean, on both sides. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Because now, what, what happened to the land in between? I don't see any land. There's in none. <laughs> no. You can do it all the way across. Watch. She asked me, why don't you have the land connecting? So let's connect the land. Okay. I'm just. Well, you can. Yeah. So I'm going to connect my land so that. It's not like an island on both sides. It's not Algeria and what's the one across from it? Italy? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> not now very you're getting bad my, at it. Now you're getting my geography. Huh. Geography is pretty bad for me, but I believe if you take a boat from Italy See, that's a over. Little... Oh, it looks great. Just make sure that bottom line is as straight as you can get it. Well, then you can always I'm, I'm go gonna over go, it. I'm going to probably use blue to go over it. Yeah, and I can always do it at the last minute. So these are fun to do. I always say just do the... Do the sunset first, let it dry, and then go back with the boats. You know, and that's the end of it. So now it'll definitely be a little bit different. Now, speaking of music stands and music, um, if you were to put on a, you know, something to just hang out and listen to around the house, what kind of music do you, would you listen to? Oh, I like so many different kinds of music. I love classical music. Um, depends on the mood I'm in. I love classical music. I love jazz. <clears throat> Who's the favorite of the uh, classicals? Oh. I'm going over my white boats. That looks know, beautiful. beautiful. I have so many Wait favorites. Wait till you see hers. So you can't oh, pick. No, I, I think I love Tchaikovsky. He's one of my favorites. Oh, yeah? And he wrote um, the Nutcracker Suite. Everybody oh, knows the, everybody knows the yeah. Nutcracker Suite. So um, yeah. oh, I love, I love, love Tchaikovsky. Um, I love Chopin. Um, there's so many. Now, don't you have a friend? Well, she's a very lovely friend of mine, too, but Mary Sue's known her forever. I've only known her briefly. But they go out to dinner. Oh, speaking of going out to dinner, you two go to a, um, a restaurant. I was going to say, what's your favorite restaurant? But I know there's limited, you know, with the COVID and just traveling around lately. But what's uh, 
What's one of your favorite restaurants? I know that you uh, like to go. The River's Edge. Yeah. River's Edge Restaurant in Avon. Love it. Yep. Love it. It's Mediterranean. What would you call Mediterranean. Mediterranean? Yeah, it's fabulous. Now, where's Mediterranean? Like India? No, no, no. Mediterranean, Don, is, is so uh, Europe. It is? Yeah, like Greece? Fran well, Greece? France, Spain, France? Italy. Oh, shoot. Um, no, hers is great, and you got to show it in a second. So we've got these boats now, and they're looking great. Now, I could add some clouds. Remember, clouds are not white. Sometimes part of it is white, but you can't just, you know, be like, you know, it's fourth grade again. You know, it just, it's not right. So you got to make sure. So I'm adding these boats, sorry. And you can see now. Let's see yours. It's all right. It's mid. Let's see. Well, that's not mid. That looks good. <laughs> my, <laughs> the teenagers, my, yeah, that I work with, it's mid. Mine so, looks my like kids say the same globs. thing. It means, eh. Mine looks like globs. Yeah, how's my outfit today? Eh, mid. Now, yours looks great. When we're done, it's going to look like a beautiful little seaport. I'm going to make it that way. Don't forget, if you don't like a boat, so if I say, you know what, I'm going to ditch this boat, you just grab some blue. Watch, I'm going to ditch it because I really don't like it. So I'm going to oh, ditch shoot. my boat. I'm really okay, here we go. See, Mary Sue? Just ditch the whole boat. Oh, jeez. You know what I'm saying? I hated it. 15 minutes. Rich is a thorn. I love it. <laughs> okay, so I ditched the boat by going over it with blue. And there's still tips of it showing. It's the Titanic sinking down. Yeah, see, you can do that kind of stuff. Yeah. And look at this big wave here. Isn't that kind of cool? See, I can go Oh, yeah. You can do fun stuff like this. You can find different parts of your painting that you think are cool. This is painting Isn't 101. Isn't it so fun? It's painting 101 for me. I mean, look at what I just did with that wave, how good that looks. Isn't okay, now so I have to go over because I Not screwed up. Not to brag. Up. So, oh my God. So, yeah, France is a great place. Okay, so let's go back to, like, you know, I was just saying I work with teenagers. HR, in general, human resources. People say, oh, you know, they act like they know what human resources means. So what is it exactly? If you don't know, you're like, oh, I work in human resources. <clears throat> like, what is human it resources, Human resources is simply all about dealing with people, really. It is? Yeah, dealing with the employees, um, helping them out any way you can, um, adhering to policies you know, that the company puts forth. Um, it does involve interviewing to hire people, Sometimes you have to terminate people. Yeah, have you fired a ton of people I've, over the past? Yeah, I mean, not a ton, but I've had you to had do my to. share. I've had to do my share. Any you scary know, any, situations happen sometimes? Mm, yes, not there have been. Yeah, there have, have been mention. some, yes. Really? God, yes. I can't imagine, because, you know, sometimes at the workplace, people get mad. You know, they just lost the job. Or what about laying off? Do you lay off people too? Well, yeah, that's, Ooh. you know, sometimes there's company restructuring, which Ooh. involves more than one person. and. You know, yeah, I it, wouldn't want to lay off people. Well, the problem is, is that you traveled the world, right? I have, yes. With I that company, it. I did. I had a great, great career at Otis for sure. That's so fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It, I'm it, making it a couple more mountains. Look just at Don. I've, I've my look mistake. at. Ooh, now I've got like. It looks like a little on floor. Have you ever heard of that in <laughs> in France? <laughs> it's on floor, except it needs this some is, buildings because there's a little port. So this is fun, and we love it. So let's see a couple more questions that I had. Oh my God. Um, I mean, the HR thing is enough. I don't really know a lot of people in HR. I really don't. Well, it's, it's, it's not easy. I mean, there's different facets of HR. Compensation, benefits, employee relations. Oops. I mean, it's not one thing. Yeah. You know, organizational design. You help, you know, yeah. implement policies and procedures, look at processes. And then if you were to retire and have yes. a part-time job, say you were to re re retire, you don't have to have a job, but you were living in, where would you be living and what would be your job? Say you don't even need the money, but you just okay, want a job. Okay, well, I've been thinking about this, because yep. I think I'm, I'd like What are you going to do? I might like to move to a place like Costa Rica. Oh, they have good everything and there. And now the, the big thing is digital being a digital nomad so you can stay connected online and make money and online anywhere. really I think and live we anywhere at that time yeah and live anywhere so that sounds and kind of appealing and the, to me the, the place that you would start would be a costa rica that would be I like your, you know that's what i'm exploring right now you that's, can also add in more uh water if you want to 
Remember, the more water, the more it spreads. How's, how does that? I changed my horizon, but I like it. it it's looks, beautiful. Does it look? A lot of look? people add clouds, and they make them all white. And it, it, all of a sudden, your whole painting looks like a five-year-old did it. So you can't do so, that. So I don't know. This is, um, it's beautiful. this is kind of interesting. Isn't it beautiful? Now, watch what you can do, Mary. So if you want, I'll get some reds and some stuff that we uh, used last time in case you want to make it a little different. Add a lot of white and it turns pink. Add a lot of blue, it turns light blue. That's a gorgeous color there. This is called alizarin crimson. So you can see it's got a little blue in it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like your it is a pretty color. bright red, which would be, I mean, this is orange. We're but you getting can see that's pretty. Things. You know, these are gorgeous though. Thanks, Rich said 10 minutes. Um, yeah, so these are great paintings to do. You're trying to make I a little seaport. You know, if you want buildings in the background, watch. I'll show you how to do a couple houses so it looks like. No, I don't want to do that. No, you don't need houses. I'm not doing houses on mine. Don't forget the other uh, No, you know what uh, I want to do? reflection on the third, the fourth boat. Yep. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm just going to fix You notice mine. these details. Are, are my boats look OK? They're, they look they all look right. They look perfect. Now, I'm going to show you how to do clouds, but she's not going to. Hers looks really good, and I get it. Sometimes you're, you're like, I am not touching it. It looks like This is like perfect. enough. It looks Believe perfect. Me. What I'd like to do is add a little white, because I feel like this is there's too much stuff going on here. What do you think? Add a little white here? Or? You could. It'll look like waves, and you can cover it up if you don't like it. Yeah, so that she was good. thinking adding some white up here so that well, it looks no, like. Well, no, just no, more, more to blend in, because it seems so yeah. blue. Like yeah, really, or you can just do bluish white like this. Watch. Then you got a really nice light. Oh, okay. You know, if you want that. So I could do that. Remember to keep your. Whoops. I'm adding a lot of light blue here, like Mary Sue said too. It looks beautiful, actually. Thank you. Now, if it's in the, mm -hmm. it, if it's in the uh, ocean, it has to be in the sky. So see, you have to bring this blue back up into the sky. You have to because everybody says water is blue, and it's not, it's, reflect it's clear. So it's a reflection of your sky, which is from the sun that's behind the horizon line going up or down. Do you see what I mean? That is what happens when the sun sets. The sun is now below the horizon line, shooting up. So now Brian is not gonna hang this. There's no way he's gonna hang this <laughs> vertically, right? I don't think so. If he so. does that, we're gonna have to, uh, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. <laughs> be a real problem. Now I'm going to put see, a little purple in. Now see, I put a little bit of, Watch this. A little bit of green in there you now. Can use mine. Look at. Mm -hmm. Throw that right in where your oh, purple is. Right where? Right here, where the other is. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Watch this. I'm going to do it too. I'm putting some purple in. A now, how did you nicer. do that? You put little red and blue. Yeah, and white. So I'm adding a little purple in mine, and remember, it has to go in the water too. Just make sure your uh, lines are pretty much going straight across. I might do it up here just because it's. Is this kind of like a Bob Ross one? I mean, look at how easy it's oh, coming shoot. along. Oh, shoot. I just screwed that up. It's too much blue. No, ah. no, don't worry. Just go in mine. You can take mine. Uh, Add look. white much. Put white right over that. A ton of white. And go right over that. And it's going to. Like this? Just this. Go right over that. Just mix it up. That's yeah, go all the way to the edge, too. Wait a minute. Big strokes like this. See? OK. Yeah, big strokes when you're doing this. OK. And then, you know, it's going to start looking really pretty. How's this? And it's a lot that looks beautiful. And See, then don't forget to repeat it in the water, usually oh, right under gone. it. Usually you're right under it. Usually right under it. too much. <laughs> so these are looking really nice. OK, so now we're. Hang a couple I... of these together. It's a diptych. That's what it's called doing. Speaking of dick dicks, dip dicks, <laughs> I am painting roosters uh, next on the episode with Christine Pettit, who will be doing, did I tell you she's going to do a ghost? Yes. Right? Didn't I tell you? Yes, you did. So Christine Pettit, in case anybody doesn't know, Brian, um, is going to have a show. And I said, what's it going to be on? I didn't know what she was going to say. And she said, people that have experienced um, meetings or whatever, what do you call them, encounters with ghosts. And I was like, really? And the she's paranormal. Like, yeah, that's what it is? The encounters with the paranormal. Yeah, so that's what her show is going to be on. So that's when you pretty see, cool. Yeah, so if you see Christine Pettit, she's going to come on my show. We'll be painting Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart this time. How's um, that? That'll be perfect. How does and this then, oh, it looks gorgeous. Is that pretty cool? No. And now then she can learn about the show. It's beautiful. 
Now, if you want to make some uh, different blues, you can mix some blue with this purple. It'll turn a beautiful color. Now I know what I want to do here. I'm it's gonna make some palm trees on mine. And you can try or no, it's easy, but you can just leave it. I need to use my water, it's very okay. dirty. I'm gonna do some palm trees. So I'm gonna do some palm trees coming over Five like minutes, this. Dawn, five That's minutes. That's it, it's perfect. That's it. I'm so glad. And I'm doing palm trees, five minutes left. So that'll be interesting, the ghost thing. Now, have you ever thought you had a ghost living in your house or no? Never. Me neither. No, I've never experienced that. Yeah, me neither. But if you I have, mean, I do believe in them. I mean, I do believe yeah, that they exist. Yeah, because I had a friend, one of my friends in the senior center at the, uh, my, my painting class, like she definitely, I mean, she was like shaking when she was telling me about it. She definitely got rid of her house because it was a problem. Wow. Yeah, so she'll, you know, if you know anybody, Give Christine a call through Nutmeg TV. They'll give you the message, give her the message, and she'll call you back. So I'm just doing some palm trees here. And uh, we'll this show you ours. This is much better. Isn't it way better? It's like he can't love it. this. Yeah, see? Now my painting looks like. It's like you need a couple tries. It's like when I painted. Now, do you want to make some birds flying? So no, 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 no. It's so Not easy. Not me, but you can go ahead. All right, don't make the birds like little kids. They make M. And this is what I do when I'm really mean. I'm like, oh, honey, that's McDonald's. Oh, my God. And they get so mad. It's a bird. And I'm like, well, you know what? It has to be the size of a rhinoceros the way you have it because it looks like a McDonald's street sign. I'm getting this all over the music now, stand. <laughs> they don't care. OK, now I'm going to do some birds. Do them small. They do them like huge M, like a McDonald's. OK, see my bird? Look it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks real. Yeah, now, you put little palms, you put palm trees in your... Yeah, and then the kids go wild with the birds and it starts to be a, an Alfred Hitchcock, you know, painting. Nobody wants, it's like when you go to the be beach and the kid next to you is feeding him french fries and it all, <laughs> he's now bothering you, you know, the seagulls. Yeah, they don't like you to do that. You're not supposed to, the seagulls drive you crazy. I'm putting a couple birds in here and I think we have a... I think my mic, again, don't go nuts with the birds. Nobody wants a ton of birds around, okay? Now, I am like, uh, you know, Gilligan's Island over here with mine. What it's about yours? Little... So what was your favorite TV show growing up? Oh, geez, I love With um, the family. Did you ever watch I, TV I, with I the really family? I really liked the Brady Bunch. I know, I'm one I of those that it. I loved the Brady Bunch. Now, was Bunch. it one of those things, I know the kids, my kids at Holy Cross and my own kids, well, my own kids don't care, but they must, because they're the same age as the Holy Cross. They keep saying, like, with all the cell phones and everything they have, they always say, like, we wish we lived in your time. They say that. It's Two true, we had great music, we had great things. I mean, any, you can go back to my parents' age, but we had it good because we had just enough stuff. Like Atari was mid and it was pretty bad, but you know, Atari with the thing well, on back. And that, that, that's a little after my time. But. So here's our painting. Now I'm gonna get up and show you them. So you can stay there. Okay, I think I can move, right? Yeah. I'm gonna bring my mic with me, okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna come up here and show you mine. And then I'm gonna go show you Mary Sue's. Now, you see what I mean? It's like all of a sudden, you know, and he had it hanging like this. It's like, oh God. Here, Donald. The editor. Andrew. Okay. <laughs> so here's mine. Mine is okay, but I think Mary Sue's I really like better. I don't know. Her boats are bigger. So see, all of a sudden, before it didn't look like this. And look at this big purple shape right here. I love it. That big purple shape right there. Like it's so nice. And don't forget, she has to repeat it in the sky because whatever the sky is doing, it reflects down. I mean, even that just right there is just beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thanks, Dawn. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. Now, I, now, oh. now, I'm, now I'm kind of interested in the painting. I, I mean, have. this is so good. So we probably have a minute left, and um, we pretty much covered everything. We had such a good time. I'd really love to do another okay. painting, but I'll show you what we're going to do next episode. We're going to try to get um, a friend on, but we're going to do these chickens, okay? I would imagine there's 30 seconds. We're going to do these chickens, and I'm going to show you how to decoupage some paper, okay? This is Tori, uh, this is uh, Kate Spade. My friend got me a pocketbook and it was, this was the tissue paper. So I decoupaged it on the back of a canvas. That's and beautiful. And I painted a chicken on it. It's perfect for kitchens. That's what we're gonna do That's next episode. Beautiful. I want that. Please, you want, <laughs> please call the crack of dawn. 
Yeah, everybody keeps saying nice cock. It's hilarious, but whatever. It is a rooster, another word for a rooster. Um, we had, what's the Chanticleer? Isn't there a- Chanticleer. Ah, that's that the is Mary a musical, Sue. That's the musical group. That's and it means musical. a rooster, right? It doesn't? I think it does I in know, French. I think it might. I think it means mm. a rooster. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining us on the Crack of Dawn. Thanks, Thank for, ha you. thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me it's again, way Dawn. better, right? Way better. Oh, gosh, it's yes. It's way better. Yes, absolutely. I mean, now we can, we're going to sign well, it Well, now, now I feel like, you know, all right. It's, this is 20, fit, half an hour of, yeah, or, or so an we, hour of So if painting, you need two so. episodes to finish yeah. something like this, don't get discouraged. You know, try, remember, the canvas is cheap, isn't it? It's so cheap and have fun and then go to Dick Flick and have fun. If you've ever been in there, it's a great store. I haven't. It's a great <laughs> store. It's almost like going to the mall. Now maybe better. maybe I'll start painting more. It's nice. So, so thanks thank for tuning in and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank Christine you. Pettit with uh, Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. Bye. Bye. So now we'll sign them. Welcome, I'm Nick Augustino. I'd like to welcome you to the Clam Box, where we do seafood our way. We got lobster roll, fried clams, fish and chip, fried shrimp, and our famous onion rings. We put a lot of precaution into the safety for you and your family. Not only do we use plexiglass at the catch register and sanitizer, we all wear gloves and we all keep a six foot distancing and everybody must wear a mask. We carry all the options. We got DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, and of course, we got Curbside where we bring it right to your car. Online ordering is available at clamboxnewbritain.com or by calling us at 860-357-3118. The Clambox, 586 West Main Street, New Britain.